dear student in this lesson and we will learn about type of chemical reaction you will be able to define type of chemical reaction in this type of in this video so there are several type of chemical reactions first of all uh, we will discuss what are the types combination reaction uh, reaction which combine uh, as you can uh, see from the name combination means to combine decomposition means to break down displacement means that one element or one re uh, reactant uh, replaces another uh, reactant so that make a product different kind a double displacement to both of the reactant displaces each other so this is the double displacement reaction next oxidation and reduction in which oxidation reduction takes place so uh, these are kind of reaction we will uh, talk about first of all in this um, video we will learn about combination reaction decomposition reaction and displacement reaction so what is combination reaction a reaction in which two or more substance combined to form a single substance are called combination reactions for example calcium oxide reacts bigger is the with water to produce thick lime that is calcium hydroxide releasing a large amount of heat so this is the kind of combination reaction in which two or more substances combine to form a single substance so here calcium oxide quick lime which is solid in nature uh, in physical form it will uh, combine with water which is liquid so when they combine they form the calcium hydroxide which is thick lime which is aqueous in nature as i have told you in the previous video that whenever anything mixed with water that is called aqueous so next one we have activity so in this activity take a small amount of calcium oxide or quick lime in a beaker or in a test tube slowly add water to this touch the beaker uh, as shown in the figure in the next slide, I have shown a figure in the next slide. Do you feel any change in temperature? So you can check um, the temperature, what happens to it. So uh, in the beaker, we will add some water uh, in the calcium oxide. So you can, whenever this process happens, you will be able to see that large amount of heat is produced in this uh, type of reaction so in this reaction calcium oxide and water combine to form a single product calcium hydroxide such a reaction in which a single product is formed from two or more reactant is known as combination reaction next uh, do you know a solution of slick lime is used for whitewashing walls as you have seen that uh, this slick lime is used as whitewashing material in the um, households so calcium hydroxide reacts slowly with the carbon dioxide in the air to form a thin layer of calcium carbonate on walls which you can see which is white in color so you see uh, uh, that color after uh, some time when atmospheric uh, this carbon dioxide reacts with this slick lime calcium carbonate is formed after two or three days of whitewashing and gives the shiny finish to the walls it is interesting to note that chemical formula for marble is also calcium carbonate as you can we have seen that that marble which is used for flooring material in household that is calcium carbonate so in this reaction what happens this calcium hydroxide uh, combines with carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate so caoh2 this is calcium hydroxide and csu3 will form calcium carbonate and water mo molecule is released next we have more example of combination reaction so burning of coal is also example of combination reaction for example when you burn coal at your home so uh, with the in presence of oxygen it forms carbon dioxide so uh, that is also a combination reaction so formation of water from hydrogen gas and oxygen gas uh, this is also a combination reaction in which two hydrogen molecules combine with uh, 
molecule of oxygen to form water molecule. When a large amount of heat is evolved, and this makes the reaction mixture warm. So, reaction in which heat is released along with the formation of products are called as exothermic. So, whatever the reaction in which so whatever the reaction in which uh, large amount of heat is, heat is liberated, that is called as exothermic uh, chemical reactions. So burning of natural gas, this is also a kind of uh, combination reaction in which methane gas uh, react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water molecule. So do you know the respiration is also exothermic process? So whenever you respire, um, this is also exothermic respiration. And as you can see, whenever you breathe out, there is uh, heat is produced. You can uh, feel that uh, by put, uh, putting a hand in front of your mouth. So heat is also generated at that time. So this is also a exothermic uh, reaction. During digestion, food is broken down into simpler substances, for example, rice, potato, bread contains carbohydrates. So these carbohydrates are broken down to form glucose. This glucose combines with oxygen in the cell of our body and provides energy. The special name of this reaction is respiration. So there is a you know, reaction of respiration in which glucose, one glucose molecule combines with the oxygen molecule in the presence of oxygen, it is changed into carbon dioxide, water molecule and energy. So C6H12O6 is a form of glucose molecule. It is converted in the presence of oxygen during respiration into carbon dioxide, water and energy. So the, the decomposition of vegetable matter into compost is also an example of exothermic reaction. So wherever uh, these uh, vegetables are converted into compost, so in vermicompost pet pits or the composting pits, there is rise in temperature during this process. So this is also a exothermic reaction. So when large amount of heat is evolved, this makes the reaction mixture warm. Reaction in which heat is released along with the formation of products are called exothermic reaction. So these are exothermic reaction. For example, when you put water into the lime, it will produce heat. So when a large amount of heat is absorbed, this makes the reaction mixture cold. Reaction in which heat is absorbed along with formation of products are called endothermic reaction. So, whatever the reaction where heat is absorbed during chemical reaction, that is called endothermic uh, chemical reaction. So, next reaction is what is decomposition reaction. So, decomposition reaction by name you can understand that decompose means to break down. So, the reaction in which a compound splits up into two or more simpler substances are known as decomposition reaction. Decomposition reaction is opposite to that of combination reaction. Uh, we combine combination reaction and we break down in decomposition reaction. So when a decomposition reaction is carried out by heating, it is called thermal decomposition. When the decomposition reaction takes place by the activity of electricity, it is called as electrolysis. So electro means uh, with the help of electricity, lysis means breakdown. So electrolysis is a breakdown in presence of electricity of any substance. Next we have activity. Take about 2 gram of ferrous sulfate crystal in a dry boiling tube. Note the color of ferrous sulfate crystal. Heat the boiling tube over the flame of a burner or spirit lamp as shown in the figure in next slide. Observe the color of crystal after heating. So we have to do this activity. So as you can see in the figure, there is a uh, uh, Vincent Werner. This is a um, curly holding tube in which uh, these ferrous sulfate uh, crystals are present. So in this boiling tube, these ferrous uh, sulfate crystals are heated in, in on the flame of this Vincent Werner. 
so what happens to this reaction is there during this reaction when ferrous sulfate is heated this is uh, changed into ferric oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur dioxide gas is released so this is the ferrous sulfate crystal before heating green in color and after heating this is ferric oxide formation by the decomposition of ferrous sulfate so this uh, ferrous sulfate uh, is changed into this ferric oxide so this is brownish in color after heating so in this reaction a single reactant break down to give simpler products this is decomposition reaction in this ferrous sulfate crystal so this is the formula of ferrous sulfate feso4.7 h2o so seven water molecules are there lose water when heated and the color of the crystal changes it then decomposes to ferric oxide sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide so ferric oxide is solid while sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide are gases so next is decomposition of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide on heating is an important decomposition reaction used in various industries so in this reaction calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide on heating is an important decomposition reaction in which is used in industrial scales so to produce the quick lime so when a limestone which is calcium carbonate is heated it is converted into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas is produced so calcium oxide is called lime or quick lime it has many uses one is uh, in the manufacture of cement when a decomposition reaction is carried out by heating it is called thermal decomposition so in this case here is thermal decomposition uh, is taking place uh, calcium carbonate is heated in, and then it is converted into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is liberated so next uh, activity take about 2 gram of lead nitrate powder in a boiling tube hold the boiling tube with the pair of tongs and uh, heat it over a flame as shown is the slide so what do you observe note down the change if any so heating of lead nitrate and emission of nitrogen dioxide so during this uh, reaction what happens this is lead nitrate white in color in physical form it is a powder in form so this lead nitrate 2 pb pb is the symbol of lead no3 is the nitrate so this is lead nitrate 2 pb and no3 bracket close to so there are uh, two molecules of nitrate so it it is when heated so it converted into 2 pbo lead oxide and or nitrogen dioxide which is in gas and oxygen gas is formed so after heating this lead monoxide is found by decomposition of lead nitrate which is yellow in color so after heating this lead nitrate it will convert into lead monoxide which is yellow in color next activity taking a plastic mug drill two holes at its base and fit rubber stopper in these holes insert carbon electrodes in these rubber stoppers as shown in figure in next slide connect these electrode to a 6 volt battery fill the mug with water such that the electrodes are immersed and a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to the water take two test tubes filled with water and invert them over the two carbon electrodes switch on the current and leave the apparatus undisturbed for some time you will observe the formation of bubbles at both electrodes these bubbles displaces water in the test tubes is the volume of gas collected the same in both the test tubes once the test tubes are filled with the respective gases remove them carefully Test uh, these gases one by one by bringing a burning candle close to the mouth of test tube. What happens in each case? Which gas is present in each test tube? When the decomposition reaction takes place by the activity of electricity, it is called as electrolysis. So breakdown in the presence of electricity is called as uh, electrolysis. So here is the apparatus for electrolysis of water. Here is a mug. 
in which two uh, electrodes graphite rods are immersed in water and two test tubes are placed inverted on those graphite rods here in uh, these two electrodes are then attached with the 6 volt battery so anode and cathode are here so rubber stopper are placed below the carbon rods so the uh, next one is water in this, in this bottle water is half filled so one is which is attached with the circuit so this is the apparatus of electrolysis of water so since the electrolysis of water produces two volumes of hydrogen gas and one volume of oxygen gas therefore the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen element in water is 2 ratio 1 by volume when burning candle is taken near the mouth of test tube on the negative electrode it burns with popping sound when burning candle is taken near the mouth of test tube on positive electrodes it burns brightly so uh, where popping sound occurs that is hydrogen gas and when there is when candle uh, burns brightly that is oxygen gas electrolysis of water shows that water is compound made up of two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen so next uh, what is the displacement reaction the reaction in which one element takes place of another element in a compound are called displacement reaction so activity take three iron nails and clean them by rubbing with sandpaper take two test tube mark a and b each test tube take about 10 ml, ml copper sulfate solution tie two iron nails with a thread and immerse them carefully in copper sulfate solution in a test tube b for about 20 minutes as shown in figure a in next slide keep one iron nail aside of comparison after 20 minutes take out the iron nails from the copper sulfate solution compare the intensity of blue color of copper sulfate solution in a test tubes a and b also compare the color of iron nails dipped in the copper sulfate solution with the one capped aside in figure b so here is a apparatus iron nails dipped in a copper surface solution as you have seen CuSO4 is the form of copper sulfate so here uh, which is blue in color after putting it into the water so it makes blue color solution so when you put iron nails uh, these uh, iron nail surfaces are displaced by this copper uh, present in a copper sulfate solution so zinc uh, or copper they displaces uh, each other as you can see in the next uh, image zinc displaces copper from copper sulfate solution the displaced copper then form red brown deposit on zinc strip so this is zinc strip over here next we have this is the operator iron nails and copper sulfate solution compared before and after the experiment you can see the iron nails are present iron nail taken out from copper sulfate solution copper sulfate solution test tube a copper sulfate solution test tube b so after reaction mixture there is no bluish uh, color present there so maybe um, it is quite fade but uh, it can be seen there in test tube why uh, does the iron nail become brownish in color and the blue color of copper sulfate solution fade the following chemical reaction takes place in this activity so in this activity this iron is displaced by the copper uh, here so the copper sulfate solution so this copper sulfate the copper sulfate in copper sulfate uh, uh, solution copper is displaced by iron so it forms the iron sulfate FeSO4 and copper Cu in this reaction iron has displaced and removed another element copper from copper sulfate solution this reaction is known as displacement reaction other example of displacement reaction are zinc uh, when in zinc strip is placed in the copper sulfate solution so here what happens zinc displaces the copper to form zinc sulfate and copper in solid 
Next example is lead and copper chloride. So here lead displaces the copper to form lead chloride and copper. Sorry. And zinc and lead are more reactive elements than copper and displaces copper from its compound. So in this placement reaction, one should uh, be more reactive so that it can displace the less reactive um, metals or element. So this is the um, th these are the three reactions. First one is uh, com combination reaction. Second one is decomposition reaction, and third one is displacement reaction. In combination reaction, we combine simply two or more elements to form a new element. In decomposition reaction, we com we decompose or break down the one simple compound to form two or three sim simple elements. In displacement, one element displaces another to form a new substance or element or compound that is uh, called uh, displacement reaction. So I hope you uh, you will uh, go through these uh, three topics and learn well. Thank you.